This is a rough attempt at explaining a phenomenon that Ain't Big Ain't Clever observed uh, when running um, an electronically ballasted uh, metal halide light off of square wave inverter electricity. This is my test fixture. It's a dual lamp um, F72T12 uh, slimline fixture running gold lamp, so it is normal for the things to appear yellow. Um, that is, you can kind of see that GT Sylvania, so these are normal stock high quality lamps, gold, 55 watt. Because the 72 in the rating uh, refers to the length of the lamp, not the power rating. T12, of course, is the envelope, T12 or one and a half inch diameter. This is a little current transformer that I made. It's just some random toroid with a couple, with a about 20 or so windings of a, 20 or so turns of some random wire I happen to find and a 30 ohm uh, burden resistor. Um, by the way, this experiment does involve uh, mains potentials and you could be electrocuted and blah blah blah. And this is the current waveform. It's a, this is my Elenco MO1252 a 35 megacycle oscilloscope. Got this at a, a ham fest yesterday. And it works, fortunately. And that, so you're looking at that, this is roughly about one point, say about one and a half amperes peak, roughly, so say that um, it's about say roughly one and a half amperes per division so for comparative purposes this by the way is running on mains right now so I'm going to switch it over to inverter electricity this is by the way my uh, 1200 watt harbor freight inverter that this is running on it's from an extension cord so there is the um, inductance of a few hundred feet of extension cord uh, attenuating these uh, current surges somewhat, but you can see now, you can see that the pulses are heading up about 6 amperes there. These, by the way, are the, um, that's the point where it's 0 volts, that's where it's positive 140 volts, negative 140 volts. Obviously these are uh, current spikes with some fairly pronounced ringing as well. At the um, points where the waveform is uh, transitioning between uh, 0 volts and positive or negative 140 volts. Because due to the very fast rise time it appears as almost a dead short to the QRM suppression capacitors and uh, ripple suppression capacitors in the ballast. But you can see now if I take it up to where it's 12 amperes at the top of the scale and we are still getting stuff. And 24 amperes, still getting stuff. This is, by the way, all entirely approximate, but. And you can see that we're getting peaks of probably a good 40 amperes right there. And the um, bits of the waveform at the bottom are virtually indistinguishable. And fairly pronounced ringing as well. So this is why lots of stuff doesn't like running on square wave electricity.